how about an STP without using any electricity, without using any energy? So tell me, how did you achieve this one? Right. So we started um, um, six years back. I live near the Barthur Lake, which, which keeps on burning. So we built up this uh, primitive prototype STP, uh, the good old um, SEPI tank. We improved it, improved it, improved it over five, six years, and we got it in a working shape. Then we got some inputs from uh, Biomimicry Institute, uh, Montana, US. We got it in a better shape, and then we got the product out, and then we launched it. And yeah, and we've been, um, last two years, we've been successful, 40 plus customers. Uh, super clean water comes out, um, and we apply for a patent. We got a patent granted. Yeah, and that's what you're in. And we got United Nations recognition also. Uh, and also, you're just two years old, and how did this uh, idea k come to you about not using any energy? And you were talking about how you use the whole uh, the digestive system of a cow. How did that come up? Yeah, because we started six years back, and uh, the current system what we have, we knew that is not going to work. It needs a lot of power, chemicals, operators. So we knew that we can't improve this. Then we looked at other models, and we looked, looked at nature. So nature came, okay, if you look at sepi tank, is based on anaerobic digestion. Something similar to cow stomach. Cow stomach works with anaerobic digestion. So we linked with Biome Green Institute, we tried it out, then we really went into the cow stomach. Cow's got four chambers. Uh, we implemented the four chambers here, and it's been incremental work. Then some science came in from Biome Green Institute. This is how the cow stomach works, and that's how we got it right. So we've been a little lucky also so, to get some clients, clients to do this. And also you've done a lot of projects. Can you just name a few of them, and how did it go about it? So uh, anything with the nature, nature needs some space, right? You can't, you can't do it in a short space. So if you put a normal power base STP, you need it in a small area, we can do, but you need water, filters, and etc. This needs more space. But how do you reuse the space? So then we came, guys, the space is underground. Top area can be completely used. So we found a below the road below the car park, below the garden. So we used them and then we got it working and we proved to customers that the space is 100% safe. In other case, I'm blocking the space, which is completely smelly and noisy. Here there's no noise and th we, and that's the only thing we have. We have. So zero space recovered, but I need to, you need to think different. You can't use the same old, um, this much space or far away. We say keep it closer. Like it's a hotel, we keep it very close. In the entrance, we keep the STP and below the ground. That's how we do. So we are able to do that. And uh, STP is one of the major, I uh, think, sewage uh, treatment plants. And many people uh, still in the nascent stage. Some people are not in the, not even in the modernized way. And uh, but just a two years old and is really uh, looking forward to do a lot of, lot of, yeah, uh, uh, you know, in terms of uh, setups in other places also. Thank you, Mr. Speaking to Swansons.